Hi everyone. In this video, I'm trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. I'm trying to connect to one of my VDA machines and it is still loading and it still doesn't launch. So I'm trying to connect to a different machine now and see how it goes. Okay, it says cannot start desktop help desk. When I click on design team desktop OS, it just keeps loading. It doesn't throw error message like help desk. Okay, it's still loading, but it is not launching for some strange reason. Okay, let's try to launch applications and see how it goes. Okay, we're getting the error message. Cannot start desktop help desk once again. Let's wait and see what is going to happen when we click on virtual applications. Okay, it says cannot start app MS Paint. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's quickly go and check the services on the controller. Okay, this is in stop state. Let's try to start this quickly and see how it goes. Okay, this is started. Uh, check, check all Citrix related services here. Everything looks okay. Everything looks okay. All services, all Citrix related services are up and running. So we should be able to launch the application. Let me quickly log off and log in again. And sign in and see how it goes. Okay, let me try to launch the machine now and see how it goes. Okay, it still throws the error message, cannot start desktop help desk. Let's do one thing, let's quickly. Uh, everything looks okay actually from the back end. Uh, let's do one thing. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's try to connect using a different account and see how it goes just to make sure if it is a single user issue or multiple user issue. Okay, let me log in. Uh, let me log in as Citrix user one. Okay, let me try to launch this application and see how it goes. Okay, it still throws the same error message. Let me again try to launch a VDA machine and see. Okay, this just keeps loading it. Okay, it says cannot start desktop. Okay, let's do one thing. Okay, this is a multiple users issue. So, um, let's click on login. Let's go to controller once again. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem, but let me try to log in once again and see how it goes. Okay, let me try one last time. Okay, it just keeps loading. Okay, let us quickly check the status of this VDA machine actually, whether it is registered or unregistered. Okay, if you see here, the machine is in unregistered state. That could be the reason. Okay, it's in unregistered state. Okay. 
Okay, we can check the status of this machine on the back end. So this is the Zen server environment. And if you see here, the machine is already on. Okay. Yes, the machine is on. It looks okay. Yeah, it looks okay. The machine is on, but still. Okay, let's try to refresh and see how it goes. So the, when the machine is in unregistered state, you will not be able to launch that particular VDA machine. There is some uh, disconnectivity between uh, controller and the VDA machine. So we have to troubleshoot the problem now. So that could be the reason why we are facing this issue. In the meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into this VDA machine and see what is actually happening there. Okay, when you put the cursor on the exclamation mark, it says the machine is not registered, but it should be. And let me drag this up. It says, okay, a machine is not registered, but should be. So, uh, but the machine is up over the back end. So it's uh, good to check what is actually happening after logging into the machine actually. Okay, so I think I'm already there. Okay, it's trying, it's still trying to load. So there could be many reasons why a machine can go to unregistered state. So sometimes a machine could be turned off and once you turn on machine goes to the unregistered state or it could be any other reason. So let's, let's troubleshoot this problem here. Okay, let's quickly check the firewall once. Okay, looks like the firewall is off, which is good. Okay, so what we can do is we can cancel this. Okay, let's try to ping controller from here and see how it goes. It could be some kind of network issue as well. So ping. Okay, we are able to ping delivery controller from the VDA machine without any issues. Let's do, the, do one thing. Let's try to go to controller and let's try to ping the machine from the controller and see how it goes. Okay. Let's hit enter. Okay, for some strange reason, it is it is saying uh, destination host unreachable. Okay, let's try to ping with the IP address and see how it goes. One ninety two one sixty eight one sixty two zero three. Okay, let's hit enter and see how it goes. Okay, we are able to ping uh, the machine without any issues with the IP address, but not with the uh, uh, FQDN. So what we can do is let's try to cancel this.
Now let's let's check if there is some kind of DNS issue. Let's go to. Okay. Let's uh, try to check what is the DNS server on this particular machine. I'm sorry for that. Okay, if you see here, it is pointing to 192, 168, 162, 14. Let's check on the controller. Okay, it's also pointing to 192, 168, 162, 14. So, looks okay. So, let's do one thing. Let's go back to controller let's just refresh and see the status ones okay if you see now if you see now uh, the machine went to registered state if you see here it's registered now so the registered state is one registered machines is one so let me just click on it It should come up it should come up in a few seconds okay if you see the registration status here it's registered okay so the issue has been solved let's try to uh, log off from this machine and try to launch the VDA and see how it goes okay I'll log off let me log in Okay, now let me try to launch help desk and see how it goes. Okay, the machine is in registered state, so it should launch this time. Okay, it's trying to connect. Okay, we are almost there. We have to make sure that we are completely on the desktop. Sometimes it doesn't launch and it does it shows this black color screen. So yes, we are on the desktop now. All right, guys. Uh, so we logged in successfully to the uh, video machine. So the problem, I think, okay. So what happened was, uh, the, com the controller was able to communicate with, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the VDM machine was able to communicate with controller and the controller was also able to communicate uh, with VDM machine using IP address. But the thing is, the machine went to registered state only after logging into this particular VDM machine. We took the RDP to this particular machine using the IP address, if you remember, in the middle of the video. So for some strange reason, okay, uh, the machine is not uh, the machine was not getting registered with the controller so once we logged into the machine it became active okay once we connected to this machine it became active and it started communicating with the controller and the machine went to registered state so sometimes you know you have to check whether the machine is powered on or powered off even though the machine is powered on sometimes you have to just log in okay just log in and see and once you log in, this machine became active and it started communicating with the other infrastructure servers. Okay, okay. I hope you find this uh, information helpful. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.